Hi my gnarly nation, how's it going? Welcome to Gnarly Reels Reactions. Uh, I am Will. Today what we're gonna do is uh, talk about my favorite top 20 songs. I had to do a 20 because all the songs are crunched too close together to decide a top 10. So that's why I'm doing a top 20. And uh, before I start with my top 20, I'd like to highlight a couple artists that I love uh, that couldn't make the list, but uh, are amazing artists. Uh, they put out great songs, and uh, well, I think they deserve to be at least uh, mentioned, uh, such as uh, Randy Travis, Diamond Rio. I had this early. <laughs> well, I guess uh, those would be good enough. Uh, but let's get starting. Uh, the number uh, 20. Sam Hunt, I'm going to make you miss me. He's like new country, but who cares? I like, I like this song. If you uh, ever listen to Sam Hunt, uh, you know he has some pretty cool songs. So I'm going to make you miss me. Uh, turned out to be a top 20 out of uh, so many songs so, so number 19 uh, George Strait Heartland When I watch pure country it starts off with that song. It hits hard. I was like wow, that's that's why he's king and uh, George, George Strait is just an amazing uh, artist and he has so many great songs but Heartland uh, came out when I was uh, a kid and it's one of my favorites now number 18 so into you by fabulous and featuring Tamiya and I gotta tell you Tamiya just felt like she was singing to me I just fell in love with that song fabulous does a great job with the song too but her voice uh, the lyrics it, it felt like uh, she was singing to me. It was just like, oh, I'm in love. And by the way, this song reminds me of a girl I used to know. So, uh, number 17, Korn's uh, Freak on the Leash. Oh my God. I think this is the song uh, that introduced me to new metal. Uh, I, can't, I mean, I can't remember any other song uh, before it. Uh, when I heard Freak on the Leash, it blew my mind. The video, I was like, whoa, these guys are doing this? I was like, wow. It, it just, and I, I never thought I was going to get into this genre of music, but Korn did it, and it was Freak on the Leash, and I love that song. I love this band, and uh, introduced me to this genre of music. Very badass. Number 16. <laughs> Prince, when doves cry, what? Oh, damn! Uh, just uh, what a great song, great voice. Presence of his voice is just like, it's like he you're there listening and singing to you live. I mean, Prince was a G for real. Just a great artist. Number fifteen. Life's a Dance by John Michael Montgomery. Speaking about a girl, this also reminds me of another girl. And uh, it kind of was around the time that I met this girl. And we were just kids. We were just uh, little kids. And uh, it kind of, that's kind of how it happened. Uh, we were like in seventh grade. She was sitting behind me. I loved her blue eyes. She, she, she was... Uh, so sweet, so nice, and I, I never did ask her out. I was just uh, too scared. <laughs> and this song absolutely reminds me of her to this day. I, I have so much to thank this uh, song. Oh wow, this next one uh, kills me. It's uh, number 14 by Blake Shelton, The Baby. It'll... It always meant so much to me. I always uh, liked this song. But after I lost my mom, there was so much more. 
that it's almost uh, like a symbol, I guess, a reminder of my mom. And this song is uh, so beautifully sung, uh, written, performed. Uh, it's just a great song. I still cry to it. I'm not afraid to say it. It's it's the kind of song that hits you in the heart, and I and I will always love it. Number fourteen, one of my mom's favorites, one that she taught us. Uh, uh, and she loved the temps, the temptations, and this one is the one that stuck around with me, my girl, and it's just the, uh, <laughs> I, I dance along with the temps, I sing along with the song, I picture the song in my head as if it was a video, it's just a uh, a great song and this is uh, a song I've been listening to since I was a little kid uh, as for as long as I can remember uh, I mean I remember after my dad leaving to work we would go and sit on my mom's bed and and we would listen to music and this is uh, something we would listen to with her and uh, it's just an amazing song okay number 12 Ay Chabela by Antonio Aguilar. There's so many songs I could have uh, picked out for Antonio Aguilar, but this is uh, a, uh, a humorous, fun, get on your seat under your car, open the windows, scream, scream singing it out. It's just uh, an amazing song. I love it. Uh, <laughs> It brings a smile to my face, uh, and uh, he just sings it in such a amazing way. And uh, Antonio Aguilar was from Zacatecas, and and I appreciate that. Number eleven, this is uh, a song that I don't want it to repeat, like from the baby, because I still have my father. And um, uh, number twelve, number eleven, sorry is Ruba McIntyre's uh, The Greatest Man I Never Knew. I'm uh, taking more time to spend with my father uh, because of the song. Um, we had a, a, a rough history, just like uh, Reba did with her father and the song. Uh, any relationship is rough, but when it's with your father, we never understand them. We never know what's on his mind, what's on his heart, because he's so closed off. But then when you see him do some of the things that he's done that we never really acknowledge because we're just, we just look at the bad at times and not realize the good. And, uh, and I said, well, you never did anything good. I was like, well, really? And the song, puts me there is like uh, it uh, says uh, everything uh, that that makes me think about my dad I mean I could have picked Randy Travis's The Box or Holly Dunn's uh, Daddy's Hands but I think this one uh, hit closer to home of uh, what I feel about my father Number 10, now we're getting into the nitty gritty, and, it, and it's uh, Johnny Cash, one of the greatest voices in country music, one of the greatest singers, period, in music, and my favorite song of his, uh, and it's probably not what you're going to think, it's Home of the Blues. I love Johnny Cash, like uh, many of these artists, they have so many great songs, but Home of the Blues somehow I get lost in it uh, while he's singing uh, I mean you could get lost in any of his songs Every, everything that he does is just pure artistry it's uh, beautiful I mean I feel if God would have a voice it would be like Johnny's and Home of the Blues delivers it's to me one of the greatest songs ever ever and uh, obviously it's in my top 10 and I wish I could have put it higher, but 
uh, the rest of it is my early um, musical interests, likes, loves, and Johnny King later, so that's why it's uh, right in the middle. It could go up because as I go on, I love more and more of his music as, as home of the blues. Look at where it is. Number nine. This is also another song that we would hear with my mom. Uh, and it's Miss Tammy Wynette. Uh, just another bedtime story. Uh, we loved all of Tammy Wynette's. And we didn't even know who Tammy Wynette was. We were little. We didn't know it was country. But uh, it's one of the songs that um, she would tell us stories about her family um, uh, when she was little. And uh, and that's one of the greatest memories that I have of my mom, listening to these uh, beautiful songs, music, and artists uh, as we were little. Because some of these, uh, like probably uh, almost all of them, uh, she influenced us. Uh, that's what we listened to as little kids. And uh, it's, I feel like for me it's an honor that I have songs that she introduced to us and we grew up with. Number eight, one of my favorite, it, it is my favorite uh, bands or groups of all time, the Mavericks, All That Heaven uh, Would Allow. And uh, it kind of speaks to how I live, how I want to live, who I am. Uh, it's a simple song. But I love it. it. It's so beautiful uh, uh, to me. I don't think too many people would say it, uh, it will not even be in their top hundred. But I like like the underdog and everything. And to me, this is like the underdog of songs. And to me, it's that high up uh, on my list. And I'm glad that if anyone sees this video, hopefully they'll be able to realize that. There's some good music that they never heard, and I hope they uh, listen to the Mavericks, All That Heaven Would Allow, and it's on my number eight. Number seven, I was introduced to this artist, and I didn't even know who he was, and uh, this was uh, one of the first songs that I listened to, and it stuck with me. The Notorious B.I.G. Give Me The Loot. Dude, he was fire. Uh, it's just like, damn, this guy's a big guy and he's uh, rapping like this. Damn it! I was so impressed, and uh, and because he was a big guy, it was something that I could relate to, and uh, uh, and I really enjoyed it. I blasted. I I would rap with him. I was like, damn, it feels like he was right there next to me, and I wish uh, it didn't happen. What happened to him? But that's what it is. Uh, and that's how they lived their life, and Biggie became a legend. My number six is Bon Jovi's Always. Such a uh, if you like uh, like uh, arena theme songs or power ballads, this is one of those. Um, it's cheesy, yeah. It's uh, like a little. Uh, people say it's a little too much. But it's so beautiful at its core. The lyrics are awesome. They're beautiful. Um, bon Jovi's voice, John Bon Jovi's voice, uh, goes really well with it. Uh, the video too is it goes so well with it, uh, and uh, I just uh, love the song for what it is. With all its cheesiness, it's uh, perfect. Number five. <laughs> My little uh, cousin introduced me to K-pop, and uh, at first I really wasn't listening to it, and uh, if she sees this video, I hope she doesn't slap me in the face, but I fell in love with uh, a couple of songs, but the one that made my list was Blackpink's uh, As If It Was Your Last. It feels like a good summer song, well, put your windows down. Uh, let your hair down, turn it all the way up, and just cruise, and uh, get some ice cream, so get some iced tea, lemonade, 
uh, hang out with your homies, barbecue, and that music is playing there. That's the kind of song that I love. I mean, everyone gets uh, songs that you have for something. You may interpret it in a different way. But this song reminds me of summer. And summer, I love summer, and and I love music. And uh, this would be one of the songs I would be definitely playing in my party. Okay, number four. This is uh, hard because he recently passed away. Uh, I love all of his stuff. And like some of these artists, I had to pick one. And I thought about it, and I and the one uh, that reminds me of when I sing, when I need a, a pick me up, or or when it makes me feel sad or anything. It's uh, Vicente Fernandez Alcantres Nos. It's one of his most popular songs, uh, but to to me personally, it hits. Especially with his voice. It, he just demands the stage. He demands the studio. He demands your attention. Because uh, he has that voice that is equal to Johnny Cash's. Uh, 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 whoever knows both artists would agree with me. Because uh, Vicente Fernandez, just uh, he could stand there alone. With no instrument, just him and the mic, and his bottle of tequila in his other hand, and you just fall in love with him. And this song is right on top. All right, the top three. Here's uh, uh I mean, so you know, number three, Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. How can you not love that song? How can you, dude? Man, I, I mean, if you ever had a girlfriend, I won't go so deep into it, but I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, or awkward, you know, because, but uh, that song, dude, is, it doesn't have to, you don't have to think about what it is, you can interpret it however you want, but damn, what a great song, and Marvin Gaye. His voice. I mean, I, I could talk about everyone's voice, and they, and that's m the main part of music, and uh, and why you listen to it because sometimes you fall in love with their voices, how it hits you on the inside, and uh, he just sang that song uh, so. Yeah. It's just had a, he made it one hell of a song. Number two. Queen's uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Ah, you, you know, I gotta tell you a little story uh, because it's something that surprised me. Uh, it's some. <laughs> My mom loved Queen, and I didn't even know. And uh, and uh, she loved another Spice of Dust, and and uh, when we when i heard bohemian rhapsody i was like no this is my song though i was like <laughs> I, I just uh such a fun song it, it's everywhere i mean i don't think there's not anyone that hates queen and they love all their songs and they probably each have their own favorites and um, probably to a lot of them bohemian rhapsody would probably be their favorite and uh it's my second favorite but uh, it's what it is, you know. Number one, if you guys been know, my favorite artist of all time, of all time, is Garth Brooks. And I could have put any of his songs because to me they're all equally as good. There's not one bad song to me from Garth Brooks. And uh, my favorite song is uh, the dance. I mean, what can I say? I, I, I mean, it's supposed to be about a love gone wrong. But to me, it's uh, more about life. In which it is uh, a love song that went bad. It's just the lyrics take it to a whole new level. And the video was beautiful and made. Garth Brooks uh, is my hero. Uh, he's uh, my favorite artist. 
uh, I can't say any better or more or more beautiful words to describe of what I feel about his music. I could say everything I've said about every other song and artist by Park Brooks to me is the absolute best. And I'm sorry if uh, that offends anyone. It's just my personal favorite. He's my hero. And that's why I'm making uh, this video to show you my, my, my list. And uh, at the end, if you want to tell me who's your favorite artist, a little story about why you like them, you're more than free. I would love to talk to you, you about it. Uh, I will comment back. Um, just uh, leave it there and I'll, and I'll answer. Uh, well, that was it. I hope you guys kind of like my list. I think you will like some of the songs on my list. Um, but, you know, there it is. Uh, so, in closing, I hope you enjoy uh, this video. I hope you guys subscribe, like, comment, so we can discuss uh, music. Uh, uh, that's one of my favorite topics. Uh, and uh, you guys have a great night, a great day, and you have a gnarly day. Thank you.